It's hard assessing how things work, isn't it? I suppose it's meant to be. The fact that William Schneeblin claims level 96 Illuminati, or the system, before he converted. You know, we were often hearing about 33 degree Freemasons. Well, he said he was 96, whatever that entailed. It wasn't good, because he, he, he tells us in his testimony. That Jesse Sebatar speaks of 14 bloodlines, and that's, that's not even mentioning the ones above that, the secret ones, the papal bloodlines, the ancient Venetian lines. But the, you know, the more public ones, there's 14, 12 Jewish tribe names, 13th Merovingian royalty, and 14th the Muslim Brotherhood. I don't think everybody in those 12 tribes are occult, but they have purloined the, the, the 12 tribe names and their bunches call themselves after it. I'm trying to decontaminate from the Pentecostal charismatic adherence to left-right political system. St Paul was totally separated from Rome, but honouring that God had allowed this empire to hold things together, and for that reason, to be prayed for and honoured. And as Jesus said, give unto Caesar that which is Caesar's. Two major things have happened since. Rome now has a Jewish hat on instead, and world politics in many places have a democratic or choice illusion hat. Protocols of the Elders of Zion states the aim is to create the necessary consternation worldwide that just for peace sake, a world government will be installed by a kind of assent of all the peoples of the world. By using so many compartmentalised groups at different levels of knowledge and compliance, this is a perfect recipe for consternation. Before 2000, I was believing that left and right politics was not accurate enough. I think I should have said uh, 2010. I think it was around 2010, actually. And so already, you know, I was thinking this subtext of white hats, which was never openly part of the public story, had greater accuracy. Except Trump recommended Pfizer. And as has been revealed, the great extent of the results of Pfizer tests were long known already by Pfizer. So this was what Trump was recommending. The story surrounding the Clintons is borne out at the Sean Atwood level, as well as the satanic ritual abuse survivor level, which is a bit deeper. And in particular, Jesse Sabota, who studied alongside Hillary Clinton, in matters of deep international scale magic. The mass slaughters of children, which of course implies mass breeding programs, is still continuing during festival periods and Halloween, so the white hat stories seem to be fictional. I've been trying to compare Trump's possible or determined win as some kind of Churchill victory. Of course, both Trump and Churchill are both completely inside the system. Churchill, a member of two orders of international Freemasonry. But hey, St Paul still wrote to pray for leaders because somebody somewhere has to keep a level of order. I didn't know I was so naive. None of us do. As you withdraw from the charismatic frequency, it becomes ever more apparent that... Um, sorry, becomes ever more apparent what we've been inside. Madison Arquette says that she has been raped by many names that we know of. Psalm 91 says the only safe place is directly under the shadow of the Most High. And for this reason, true church, as the original infrastructure around the people during Moses' time, has a unique set of patterns. And it isn't the angelic, carnal, pyramid type of shape. There's a very special phrase in Psalm 84. 
about men of the Lord being revealed before God in Zion. People don't even do it. We see this pattern in 1 Corinthians 12 church. Everything hangs on the moving of and the following after the Holy Spirit. The charismatic realm, you know, has... Is like democracy in that there's an emerging shared participation in God's will, but both charismatic things and democratic things as they now are, both maintain the pyramid shape of kings, which the devil can guide so easily. So what can we say? That Winston was God's man for the hour? Well, in respect of guiding Britain to topple Hitler, yeah, perhaps. But as you scroll out, you see Tavistock Institute, who Harat and the spymaster claim created Hitler around 1913 in programming terms. Around the time he visited both his brother in Liverpool and Monkey Island off Hailing Island here. Scroll out further, and you see Albert Pike, 1861 to 1871, devising three world wars and the return to Israel, the creation of a United Nations entity leading to a world government. The naivety of us charismatics is that the Queen was Christian, that Trump and Obama, Biden, Harris are not part of a bipartite show in the hands of some very satanic purposes. Caroline Stevens and some of the satanic ritual abuse survivors are some of the first to identify logos, coats of arms. Uh, what I mean is, as they become as they become visible, they're some of the first people to pick up on all these things. I don't mean that they're, they're the first to, to invent or think of these things, because coats of arms go back centuries. But I mean, as things become visible and public, they're the first people to pick up on everything. Coats of arms, hand gestures, architecture, common company directors, unusual behaviours that appear incongruent with what they're meant to be presenting. One of the issues with Trump is that Democrats don't like Trump for Democrat reasons, not spiritual reasons. If there were spiritual reasons, they'd pick up on Obama, Clinton's Biden and Harris, wouldn't they? Especially Biden, he's not even the same Biden. And Trump apparently isn't the same Trump. He died of prostate cancer in 19, um, 2022, they say, they say. All these mad things to do with cloning and growing humans are so hard to believe. But so is Star Trek 60s on board hospital, if you remember. But that wasn't science fiction. The scanner the gadget bones waved over people to heal them, is a Russian product, invented just after microwave ovens, which were invented in the 50s. And I'm going through, you know, different things that have happened on my round, uh, and, and I haven't got room to keep on doing it, but I'll just give you some examples. My piano tuning client has two daughters. One is part of those makeover programs that make people look 10 years younger by makeup. The other one sells Skena. I had a tuning client with family practically next door to suicided WMD weapons of mass destruction Dr. David Kelly. My friend was in the court when they cleared everybody out so they could charge Dr. David Noakes but squash the fact that GCMAP is our body's hormone that cures all cancer tumours. It was discovered 35 years ago. I don't think they got a Nobel Prize, but, but it, was, it was fated in the science world. It was really um, bigged up, and then it was all squashed. I'm just saying that tuning for fairly well-off people for 40 years, including the Queen at Windsor Properties, also Diana's confidant vicar. I'm, I'm perhaps more inclined to believe the mad things Gina Archer says than people say on Miles Johnson Basis series. But I also believe that the Jewish priests God spoke from outside time 
are the revelation of himself in man. I believe tabernacles is a state, a communion, a spirit infrastructure that grows through our current nonsense. The training was always 1 Corinthians chapters 11, which is that's about breaking of bread, through 12, 13 and 14. And Ephesians 4, and 1 John 1 describing how the apostles function together. It's Catholics, Orthodox, Anglicans, Baptists, right down to our current pastor-controlled churches that are holding up history. So these stupidities continue with a population complying with their own cull and being rendered infertile. Oh, so on the positive side, it will rid us, rid us of stupid people the ones left will be lo special lovely people. They're very switched on. So how on earth do you sense God then? This is a direct follow-on. Direct follow-on from the last one. So how on earth do you sense God then? If the Queen isn't a good one, or if Trump isn't a good one, how on earth can we know? Do we have to take John Lydon of the Sex Pistols round with us? To be fair to us, Trump may be surrounded by top charismatic elders as he doesn't but as he doesn't participate in anything other than an ancillary way, it's quite easy to deceive us. The Queen had it very easy. It's the most lively thing the Queen ever did was to have to be at the American preacher who led Harry and Meghan's wedding. There was some 60s conversation with Billy Graham. Here's how God's system works. There's the internal grid system where you go into your inner room. You get born again. You ask Jesus to baptise you in the Spirit with fire. That exact phrase is important. Evangelicals talk about receiving the Spirit, and what they mean is being born again, as in John 3. Baptism in the Spirit is the equivalent in New Covenant terms of the inferior splash of olive oil, which was the only thing available for the Levites. This is what's so radical about Jesus' talk in the upper room. He's making it clear that he himself can't get inside any of the disciples because his human body's too big. So it's to their advantage for him to leave. And obviously there's some Galatians 2.20 stuff he can't mention there yet. But in his new body, outside of time and creation, he can pour out and share his exact spirit of fire. It's fair to say most charismatics are spirit baptized but they never asked for the fire bit. It's the fire bit that really cleanses, but the fire anointing also pushes you round the dial. What dial? Known as the Jerusalem Gate sequence, the heavenly Jerusalem gates, which the, the earthy one is modelled after, to blast you into what Maurice Serrara called the new anointing. But in Nehemiah, it's called Gate 11, the double portion gate of Ephraim, to make up for the tribe that went walkies, the tribe of Dan. Elisha had the double portion, didn't he? Recent saints like John G. Lake, George Jeffries, Smith Wigglesworth, Branham, I guess, and loads of Americans, including Smith Morris Morello, R. W. Shambach, they had this fire anointing. So the grid of truth is something like revival fire. And this is truly going into our inner room where our fire dwells and where we meet with the Father, shutting our door to aspects of the Genesis 3 way of operating. Gathering in the name of Jesus strictly is gathering where Jesus is and he lives in the holiest place, inside revival fire and resurrection life. Because there's three stages of growth, a local church is meant to have a full spectrum leadership, now including women, of third levels. 
But as we don't have people sharing, there is a third feast. 1 John 2, Father knowing type of growth. It's a catch-22. We get stuck with anointed people, but don't always know how to walk Jesus in them as them as soon as they leave the meeting room door. Most still walk in this presentation fig leaf mode when they are with other people. It's, it's particularly prevalent when you're a rabbi pharaoh receiving your tithe coercion taxation and having to look as though you're worth it around a lot of lean and hungry coyotes that want your solo spot. Well, none of this is ecclesia. The people laid their offerings at the apostles' plural feet. So truth grid number one is what, you, what your insides are telling you inside the fire of the Lord. Truth, truth grid two is what is happening with Jesus showing up in the new priesthood. That's the whole congregation. We are a royal priesthood, a holy nation. This includes third level leadership training. The whole congregation in seeing what the Father is doing. Psalm 123. Truth grid three is the whole of life. Day to day pours forth speech. If there are seven spirits of God in seven days of the week, well, maybe Sunday may be one spirit of God. Monday might be another. So that's why we sit on truth to see how it looks from day to day, see if it endures. We weigh it in different lights. Life comes back at us. That's how we're weighing all these conspiracy theories. What lasts? What just gets truer and truer? Was the Beatles an occult military Alistair Crowley set up in a former military communications building with Max Adorno writing all the songs? A bunch of Liverpudlians singing on the Ham Hamburg Raper Barn, then getting set up in a former military building with their own personal George Martin string arranger and skilled goon show audio producer. Sounds a tad weird to me. That's an ex extreme thing, but we're testing everything from day to day, including the fallout when we are seduced back into the independent self life. And we think, mm, ouch, that hurts. Or, wow, that thing I felt Jesus say to do has a life of its own because it was him in the first place. And his fruit goes exponential, just like John 15 says. Even if we don't want God, we are part of the same story. Even if we're a complete unbeliever and atheist, we're all part of this same big story but if we do what he nudges us to do we get to prove a bit of romans 12 too which is what is good his will is what is good what is acceptable and what is perfect 